So this is the queen before Clarence. This is the queen that everybody missed. This is the queen that everybody really likes. And the queen that first started out on YouTube. So we're going to get ready to take a look back at the old queen. We're going to look at how she was very into God. And we're going to take a look at where she is today. Like when I was in church, I was supposed to be taking him serious, but I wasn't. I was out doing like a lot of other stuff I wasn't supposed to be doing at school. And basically my mama said, you know what? If you know if you don't listen to me, then you're going to have to listen. You're going to have to give account to God. And you know, she said that and I thought about it, but I really didn't pay attention. So, y'all. The scariest dream I had. I don't know if you guys know about the rapture or whatever like that, but um, I believe in a rapture. The rapture is when God comes back to earth, get all the people that was right with him. And like, you know, the dead rise first and and the people who are still like alive, like they rise up and he, you know, stuff like that. And he, he just get all his, gather all his people that lived, you know, holy and lived right for him. So. I had a dream that, okay, this is how the dream, this is how the dream started. So, I'm standing in line and in front of me was my mom and I think it was my stepdad in the front of my mom. And like I'm standing in line like this and then like on the side of me over here, there's like a wooden table. and. I don't, I couldn't see who it was, but from, from the feeling of it, it felt like it was God sitting at the table. And ahead of all of us, there was a gate. Now, I couldn't see his face, but all I know that it was like an outlining of a body. It was like an orb, but it was like a spirit, but you knew that it was a heavenly spirit. He had power. So I'm guessing that it was God. And I'm guessing that this was judgment day or something like that. I'm standing in line and you know, he he's judging my stepdad. And my stepdad, you know, he entered into the gates. And then, then my mom. And then, you know, I, I didn't hear what he said to her, but I'm guessing she must've got in. And when it got to me, it's like, when it got to me, it's like, <clears throat> he said, he said, depart from me, uh, I, I do not know you. And in the Bible, it says that like, you know, on judgment day, like, those are going to be the words that he say, like, he's going to say either, either he's going to say, um, well done you know, that good and faithful servant, you know, you can enter into the gate. And if he, if you don't make it, then he's gonna say, depart from me, I do not know you. So, when it got to me, that's what he said, y'all. Like, that's what, that's, imagine, imagine, just, just take a moment to imagine yourself standing there like before God, you know what I'm saying? And he tell you he don't know you. Like your name is not like written in the in the book of life. Your name is not written, you know, down to to go to heaven. Um, imagine God telling you that. Like, what can you do? You can't you can't argue with him. You can't do nothing. All you all you can do is just probably not even cry. You probably just gonna disappear. So this is what happened when he told me that. I didn't have room to say nothing, y'all. Like I didn't have room. I didn't have time to say anything. Like, all, all I know is, as soon as he said that, it was like that. Like, it was like that. I was gone. I had disappeared. But when I disappeared, I, I suddenly ended up on this road. And it was this, like, dark road, y'all. Like, it was this dark, dark road. It was not only me on the road, but it was like... It was so many other people on this road, y'all, and they it was people in front of me, people on the side of me, people in the back of me. Everybody had on these these white t-shirts, but the white t-shirts 
um, they were dirty and they were like torn, they were ripped. So I'm guessing that the shirt stood for like a white shirt is like, you know, pure white, you know, stands for purity. And then the shirts that like the ones that were the torn, the tears and the rips and all that stuff in the dirt that I think that represented all of our sin and all of our, you know, our filth. <clears throat> and yeah, so everybody just had on these, these ripped shirts and they were just walking, some were running. I think we were like kind of like jogging and everybody had these worried looks on their faces like, and then there was this white guy next to me and he looked at me. I don't know if I looked at him or he looked at me first, but one of us said, I think, no, he, he said to me, he said, what, you didn't make it? You didn't make it either? And I was like, no, I didn't make it, no. And y'all, that was like just going down that dark road, like that was the scariest thing ever. Like that was the most scariest, I feel like that's the most scariest dream I ever had because it's nothing worse. Like we, we, you know, we live here, you know, but this life is temporary, y'all. So that's why God tell us not to get too caught up into ourselves and into like the ways of the world and stuff like that and material things because this this body, everything, like this whole world, everything is temporary, y'all. Like if your soul not right, like it don't mean nothing. I'm telling you. So so I woke up. And y'all, I remember the whole house was dark because it must have had to be, it had to be mid middle of the night. And bro, when I tell you, I got up around that house. I was looking for my mama. I was looking for my stepdad. I was trying to make sure they were still there because I thought that God had came back and I was left. Like, and when I, when I seen that they were still there, it's like, I had this huge, huge relief. Like this big old mountain off my back. Because y'all, that was the most scariest feeling ever. Like even now, sometimes I still I still worry about it because nobody knows nobody knows the day or the hour. You know what I'm saying? That he gonna return. And it's like so many of us are doing our own thing, and so many of us are getting wrapped up into our our lifestyles, and that we forget. <laughs> that we forget why we really here, like what our purpose is. And like some of y'all may not believe, you know what I'm saying? And But some of y'all do believe in God, but you just, you know, you don't put in enough effort, as much effort as you should, you know, with, as, with the relationship with him. And that goes for me too, because y'all like, it was a time where I was like heavy, heavy, heavy into God. And like I slid back and I slid back, like, you know, and lately like I haven't even been going to church like I haven't found a church home but in order to find a church home you got to go you gotta you know go try to find one so it's like I've been slacking like heavily and it's like it means more than anything that we doing on this earth I'm telling you just because you young and just because you know you doing your own thing, make sure you don't forget your purpose here because God put everybody here for a purpose. He put everybody here for a reason. No matter how old you are, he, he put you here because he wanna you know use you. And if you make mistakes and stuff like that, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has sin, everybody has weaknesses that they deal with. But the the it's not about what you do, it's about what you do after you do it it's like do you learn from it you know what i'm saying and you know god may let you get away for, with something for so long but then he'll warn you you know he'll send you signs either in dreams or like you'll be able to tell because how stuff goes in your life and a lot of people you know they a lot of people turn against god because they feel like oh well you know this happened to me or um, why did he let this person die in my life? And, like, another thing, y'all, don't turn against God because something bad happened in your life. You know what I'm saying? You have to remember that he is He is just God. And you, as much as, like, stuff, you know, happens in our life and it's sad, you can't really question 
you can't really question why he does things because our minds are not made to understand everything he's doing like we're only humans like we think we think naturally but god is like he's like supernatural you know what i'm saying and a lot of us don't see supernaturally a lot of us don't have faith like how we're supposed to have faith one thing you never want to let happen is god to tell you depart from me i don't know you make sure you know whatever you do you put him first and i i even me like i have to learn some stuff like honestly this phone right here honey this phone is a distraction out this world like they made the phone with everything on it and it's like i put the holy bible app on there and like sometimes when I try to read the Bible, it's like I see notifications popping up at the top and I get distracted and I pull it down. But that's because I'm having an issue within myself where I need to be strengthened. You know what I'm saying? Just try to put in effort and remember. So what you have seen in this video is Queen having a dream of God warning her. And she still went and signed a record deal because we all know when you sign record deals, you signing your soul away. Like and also this was a warning because god could see what was ahead and she was supposed to take that dream a little bit more seriously than what she did so the question is once you sell your soul can you go back to to being saved but the problem with that industry is they start to have mind control over you they do all types of rituals to do mind control. Like the, the queen right now might be under some type of mind control that under some type of spell, basically, that she might not can find her way back to God. Queen probably didn't intend for any of this to happen or whatever. And she probably never intended for any of this to happen, but when she was tempted she chose the wrong she chose the wrong road so she must have been tempted with money through the record deal she even compromised her christianity so now queen has a song out called war cry so now it's gospel that she's singing what queen cannot understand is you cannot play both sides of the fence you gonna have to pick a team a lot of people believe that once saved you're always saved once in never out that once you um give your life over to jesus that you just say forever no you're not just because you said the sinner's prayer just because you were once saved does not mean you're always going to stay that way because you can walk away from God. You can walk away at any point in time. If you're not studying the word, if you're not meditating, if you're not staying prayed up, if you're not keeping your mind on, on, on God, you can stray away. So that is what i think she does not understand she thinks that she can go sing the world music but still come back around to sing gospel and it don't work like that you cannot serve two masters that's like being lukewarm and the bible says that he will spit you out of his mouth because you're you're neither hot nor cold so you know the truth you know what it takes to be saved but you're not doing it so or either you're singing praises but you're not living right like to be lukewarm is dangerous because that's just as bad as being cold because it's not being hot take a look at this video you guys want me to go more into depth on mk ultra on the clones you know cloning celebrity cloning cloning in general people are also saying that she is mk ultra whatever that might be um i know a little bit about it I don't, I don't know a whole lot about it but i do know that they do put different like spells hexes whatever you want to call it on people and it'll have them doing things that they're not 
used to doing or things that they usually don't do. And that music industry will have you all caught up in so much that you won't even know what all you're caught up in. So let's take a look at this video. I'm covering my face because it's lit. Go get that. Yes. So hopefully, I mean, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been supporting me. Thank you to everybody who got my song Medicine out there, who listened to it, who watched the video over and over again. No shade. No shade, bro. I'm just saying, like, go. So did that push you to make like one big like one of you? Yeah, for anything? sure, for sure. I want to be like that. You want to be better? Like yeah, like I know how it feels like mm -hmm. to not have him. So like I would never want him to feel like that or her to feel like that. Yeah, my mom came to all my uh, daddy things in school. Yeah, it's always been my mom. My mom yep. always played that mom dad role. Mm -hmm. Cause that was alright. That was alright. The last thing was alright. If you want, we can end it here. That was Yeah, that was that was that was better. That was a fact that they caught it. No, they probably did. Yeah. Now we can end it though. But I do have to be careful as well with the information that I put out, you know, because I don't want to endanger myself or my family as. Like, we was raped, like, I noticed, like, in the beginning, I thought that we were kind of, like, similar. Similar. And Queen is admitting that she's, in the beginning, I thought that we were kind of similar because I got bamboozled. This <laughs> went by. I see that we not so similar in some areas. Like, we, was, we, we wasn't raised the same way. And so that could be, like, look, he, he's still. I'm saying it's like she's holding back. She she wants to say more, but she can't say anything. He's stressing her and the baby because she loves Jesus and he doesn't. Man, I know it. I've learned I'm trying to now instill in my household, but then she has different. Look, right she now. looks so uncomfortable. Check it out, y'all. Let me back it up a little bit. Look how uncomfortable. Look at the face of uncomfort. I'm trying to now and still in my household, but then she has different. Like, you know what I mean, sir? It has to be like a compromise, a compromise or a middle. Yeah, a middle. Yeah, but you compromising your beliefs, your morals, everything about you to be with this man. That's all so I'm saying. I think that's the hardest part is bringing your beliefs and my beliefs together to teach this one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It ain't going to end well. Because your beliefs, you want to be on the godly path. He don't want to be on the godly path. So it's going to be a hell for this baby. Just accept uh, another child that's not by you. I don't want Renzo and CJ to, if they're going to be in the same household, I don't want them to be raised differently. God has to be first in your life. God even comes before your family. God comes before clearance, before anything. And I'm not seeing that happening here. So... She's basically giving up God for whatever uh, Clarence desires. So that's where she's going wrong. And that's opening the door up to the devil. Okay, so not only is Queen compromising with the music industry, she's also compromising by having a man that doesn't believe in her God. So now she's trying to figure out a way to raise her kids and instill God in them. And he's trying to figure out a way to not instill God in them, basically. So now she's compromising with her child raising skills. So what she's supposed to do is give her kids back to the Lord. She knows that. So the question is, how do you compromise raising your kids without instilling God in them if God is your God. See, God, can you cannot compromise God. The Bible says, suffer the little children to come unto me. She is supposed to give her kids back to the Lord. So when they are older, so when they are older, they will not depart from it. They won't depart from whatever it is that you instill in them. You have to instill in your kids the right things. 
And Queen is trying to instill the right thing, but Qu- but Clarence isn't. Anything that's not instilling God is not instilling the right things. The next video. So Queen had went to California. It was a lot of spiritual stuff going on. She felt out of place. It was very awkward. And this is the video. What's up, Rookie Squad? It's day number two in California of my shoot. And we've encountered some crazy things already that I didn't capture. I'm amazed at how we go up these hills, but there's no, like, railing on the side. Oh, it's yeah, like, They just fall over. It's, it's no, that's so cowboy scary. Hat. Mm-hmm. They said it's mountain lions up here. Mm-hmm. I mean, why y'all tell her that? They just had an earthquake last week. Everybody acting normal. I, I don't. I don't understand. It's hippies up here. I just see. Hippies. I see a bunch of hippies in a van. I see what? Scooby-Doo van. Start thinking about what no, I know it's gonna be good. It's gonna be. It's gonna be beautiful. Like it's gonna be really, really. I think we, when we do this for other artists, I'll turn this to Mike like, at the director. Wait, you can see her um, face. They don't it's have tired. the. Um, the baby. I think. <laughs> And we're in this like old antique building from the 1950s and they have all these evil looking stuffed animals and I just had to pray because yeah, it's scary. It's scary. I'm not going to hold you up. Like it's been a lot of spiritual stuff happening to me and I feel like God is trying to get my attention and it's been a lot of chaos going on on the internet and just, just so many things happening at one time and um even like the hurricane situation yeah. like that's messing with my gender reveal that's probably going to be postponed and canceled for right now it's just so much but i had to recuperate and get myself together so i wasn't able to show you guys hey. so this is out the sprinter oh yeah that's oh, wow that? Ooh. i don't blame her i'd have been a little weirded out too let me show y'all something I'm... no i got it i got it look he about to fall himself yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you play basketball, he'd be all right. In here, but let me show y'all. Oh, look at all the crayons. Oh, look at all the dresses. Yeah, let's see all the weird stuffed animals oh, over here. Yeah. That's just scary. Yeah. Okay. I ain't even. Not Throw to mention some TV. over it. Not to mention. Look at that. Oh, no. This is, I think it's a Furby. Furby. Like, not to mention all these stuffed animals were thrown. Like, I literally told Lee to throw them because there's an evil doubt over there. The one with the hair, but I ain't gonna show you the face. Mm-mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, thank you. This junk's scary. It's got horns. Mm-mm. I'm out. This is what I'm about to do. This is where he had to set up at, literally, y'all, because this place mm-hmm. is just so doggone old and different. What, what is that? I made a bunch of money. The wig is nice, but hold on. Move your arm. Oh, I ain't fooling with the, um... What the heck? I was walking around with all this. Oh, my God. No. Listen, I seen... I seen a stuffed animal and their eyes was like this. That's the one we saw. She's in that pool. Mm-hmm. I'm like, so what the second look. Like, Puffier. Like, fluffy hair. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Queen? She was laughing because she knew she was about to trick the directors about the chair they want her to sit in. She was going to start shaking. Uh uh-uh. uh. She forever pranking people. Oh, yeah. That's like Queen of the Damn chair with Aaliyah. She gonna warn him. If I start shaking, don't be scared. Here's what I was thinking, but it turned out like emotion. Taking a couple of different ways. One. She can't even do it. She can't even do it. I have. Somebody made that chair.
like that one. Oh, the stylist said he blessed like the crown. Uh, that's good. I'm glad she got stylists like that. I don't know. You better stop. Queen, can we can we get can we? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not going to hold you up. It makes you feel like, like that. It really do. I'm not lying. It makes you feel like this. Like a black like crow. Yeah, like instead of a dog, a white dog, it makes you feel like a crow. It's a black crow. It's a black crow. It's a black crow. You had a big chair without all that extra stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but I still feel like... Cause you got the white like stuff behind it. Okay. Oh. Jesus, turn it off. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, we can't play no gospel. No, we can't. I don't have no service. You don't have service. Jesus, Jesus. I don't think I, I got service. That's good. Queen, posting. I can't believe this. Y'all, it's been so much going on. We about to leave. Y'all know. It's been so. Y'all know. It's been so much going on, man. So much. I ain't even gonna speak on it, but. We have to get the heck up out of L.A. We got to get out of L.A. It's crazy and it's dark here. And it's so many things we have to tell y'all and keep y'all updated on. It's been a lot of stuff that, that's, that's, yeah, been happening. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and end my vlog now. Thanks Yesterday was my, my photo shoot. Yeah. Y'all get to see, like, the behind, like, more so behind I the like scenes that. of the place yeah. on the royal family. Oh, it wow. It was a very... I ain't gonna get going to it. I ain't gonna get to it. It was y'all will see. Video coming soon. Video coming soon. So now she's involved in this music industry, even if she doesn't want to sit in evil chairs. Just the fact that she's on set and the whole environment is evil is like her participating in whatever it is that they're all doing. If they're doing witchcraft and all this type of stuff on the set and she's there, she's guilty of whatever they're guilty of because she's there. She's participating in, she's taking the pictures. She's wearing this black dress with this black crown on her head. She's still taking a picture in front of the chair, even if she's not sitting in the chair. She's still in this dressing room that has this weird satanic feeling and these voodoo looking stuffed animals her choice was either to stay there or to leave even at the end of the video she said there's a lot of negative energy it's a lot of spiritual energy in california and she's ready to get out of there i feel like you don't just do shoots and and different videos and different stuff when you feel negative energy like that that's when you walk away from the situation and that's not something that she did so i'm not talking about queen to bash her i'm ex talking about queen in case she ever sees this video or in case anybody else wants to get into that music industry they see what's going on and young girls that want to sing, that want to do this or that, they might have to change what it is that they want to do or either sing gospel because that music industry is evil. And that's not something that young girls should be growing up trying to be a singer to sing the devil's music. If somebody has a, a gift to sing, they should be wanting to sing for God. So this video isn't just for Queen in case she ever sees it. I don't know. But this video is also for the people that have dreams of being a star. That's just like when the devil uh, showed Jesus every, everything he said. I'll give you all of this if you bow down and worship me. So basically, I feel like Queen had been offered the world to bow down to bow down and worship the devil queen might not even know 
that she is worshiping the devil, but she is with the type of music that she's putting out and what's going on in her videos. It's not glorifying God. So she has made a deal with the devil, whether she realizes it or not. And also, they say with those record deals, when you sign, a lot of times you have to do a ritual to even be signed into the record deal. If there was something that happened for her to even have a record deal. So what did she do? to have this record deal what did she compromise because she had to have compromised her christianity to even have this record deal but y'all comment below let me know what y'all think she should have chose to leave she had the decision whether or not she wanted to stay or whether she wanted to go when she saw this witchy environment that was her cue to leave we all know that the music industry will make you compromise your Christianity in some way, shape, or form. So she knows that she's compromising something. And also, a lot of people are saying she's MK Ultra, whatever that might be. I only know a little bit about that. I don't know a whole lot. Once you get involved in all of that stuff, it, it becomes some strong devils that are going to be awfully hard to get rid of. Like, we need to all pray for Queen. But when you get all involved in that type of stuff, you get in so deep. And it's just, it's going to take a lot for her to come out of that. This video is going to cover just about everything that people have been having questions to. I'm actually taking out the time to make this video. So we're taking a look at all of these things and it all shows how far Queen has strayed away from God. Also, I was right kind of about him not wanting to be a stepdaddy because these these are his words. He said, I have to love CJ because that's going to be my son's brother. That is, that sounds like somebody's forcing him to love CJ. And that's just a little bit weird. Like I said in my last video, I was saying I think that Queen was the one that was feeling Clarence the most. So I was actually right. And here is the proof. And here is a video of that. So she had already been crushing on Clarence way before Clarence even knew who she was. And this might actually explain Clarence's actions because possibly she might be more in love than he is. So y'all, let me know what y'all think of this video. Comment below. Let me know what you feel about this. But here is the video. And though. Because what you were saying, that's probably how a lot of guys feel out there. Shut up. What about that light-skinned nigga you like on your Instagram page? Who? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold on, wait, who? Which one? Your crush. I think you got a crush on who you think attracted my Instagram when you show me? Oh, no, this is a, I got a whole new crush. Hey, I'm done with him. <laughs> who your Instagram crush? You. I hate when niggas lie to you. I didn't. Hold on, hold on. Spicy mafia. Hold on, hold on. Spicy mafia. Claire, you know, no, I told you. So we follow each other, right? Let me get close. Let me get close to them. Let me get close to them. I need to talk to them. All right, spicy mafia. So right, you know how like, like I follow. She followed me. I followed her back for me following each other. You know what I'm saying? Like. And. I think was we like. I don't know if how long we were following each other for, but I just remember checking, and I'm blocked. Like Claire, I go to, to I go to Queen Nigel's page, and I'm blocked. No, like why am you I need blocked? To, you, need to you know down. what I'm saying? Claire, like I didn't do nothing you wrong. You need to let me tell you. I never said anything. I like, didn't I never, block you. Know what I'm saying? Listen, Listen, I didn't. I didn't block him. I didn't block him. Listen, I was called and told to unfollow him, so I did that out of respect. I, I unfollowed him. I did. Even though it wasn't even nothing crazy, like we wasn't. You ain't gonna follow me though. You blocked me. I did not. I didn't block you. I unfollowed you. But when I got home, you somehow ended up blocked, and I didn't block you. So it wasn't me. I feel you. 
Do you believe me? A little bit. Why? Cause why would I block you, player? After we just had a conversation that like nothing. Nah, it's alright. Like, I mean, so, you wasn't even. Can we go back for a minute? Yeah, you can go back. Go ahead. You said that was like you DM me because you like you kept seeing me on your explore page. Yeah. So, but I like I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that you see on your explore page. No, don't do that. Don't know do what that. I'm no, no, no. I'm just let me get to this. You know what I'm saying? So, like, like what made you like? Like me, you got what I'm saying? Like DM yeah, me, you got Like, cause I think I know, you get what I'm saying? But I think that's a part that you're leaving out of like. All right, y'all, he was my Instagram crush for the longest. Like even back at the apartment with the red couch. Oh, I don't know what the red couch is. The red know? couch, when I, yeah, y'all. So if Queen, is in fact more into Clarence than Clarence is into her can't possibly be the reason why he is so controlling why we might have picked up on him acting as if he is using Queen and why we feel so strongly is because we can see that there's something that's lacking in Clarence so it's appearing as if Clarence is not all that caring about Queen. So after the things that we've seen in this video, we can clearly see that Queen had an eye for Clarence first. Now, that might not be that might not be a big deal, but then again, it can be. That might explain why. He seems to be a little bit selfish. He wants to enforce the things that he wants and leave Queen feeling sad. Also, um, a lot of people have been saying he's controlling, he's manipulative. So when you're controlling, you're manipulative. That's not love. Also, his intent for being with Queen could have been her money, which a lot of people are saying is probably her money. The baby was... A ticket to his success. Now, I don't know if that's exactly what I feel about the situation. I just know that that's the way a lot of people feel about it. So, if Queen really liked Clarence just a little bit more, possibly, then maybe that explains why she's so willing to uh, compromise so much. Um, it might be the reason why she is really trying to make this work even though she sees all the red flags that are there that is showing that the relationship is bound to fail because they're not on the same page. So they believed in the beginning that they were on the same page. And then somehow now they're saying that they were raised differently. They're not similar. So what I'm thinking is, Clarence made her believe that they were similar when he wanted to get with her. So now that he's got her, he's letting her know, like, I really don't agree with that. Even though I said I agreed with this, I agreed with that, I agreed with everything and the whole nine. But now I'm letting you know what I don't agree with because basically I got you now. So that's what I kind of feel like happened there. And... Queen is so willing to compromise, which shows that she cares more because he's not willing to compromise anything. He's not compromising his friends. He's not compromising his relationships with his relatives. Queen is doing that. So Armand was her friend that was traveling with her, and now he doesn't want to travel with her anymore. So what happened with that? Oh, it's just all starting to look like whatever love that is there is mostly coming from Queen. So Queen was this celebrity from YouTube and Clarence was just this regular person. Now, he might have been a model. Ever, I don't know what he was in New York, but... He might have had a few things going for herself, but he was no queen by far. So she basically put him on. He wasn't this big person that he is now. He's this big person now because he's with queen. So that is where people are like raising an eyebrow and have like this 
strong belief that Clarence got with her for who she was. Now, that could very well be true. It's very well possible because of the actions that we've seen out of Clarence. Clarence is controlling. He's manipulative. Um, he seems to be kind of abusive towards her. We're not really seeing his love for her. And even when he did surprise her and do a lot for her on her birthday, it still, for, to me, didn't really seem all that genuine. It was kind of like he was just materialistic. Like, oh, here's this and here's this and here's this because you never had that. But it really didn't seem like it was because he was doing it for her kind of just seemed like for the video basically but we don't really know that but the things that we're seeing a lot of times if we've been in that situation we can see what other people might not can see so i'm not t saying that anybody is wrong or anybody is right but I am kind of leaning toward the fact that if Queen had just been a regular person, if she hadn't been who she was, would he have still wanted to talk to her? Also, with that Smash Her Past video, when he kind of dissed her a little bit, something about Frank Red Hot or something Patty said, and then Clarence was laughing and all this and that, and he really didn't think that she was spicy. Um, if she hadn't been who she is would Clarence have still been interested? So that's the question. And I think because Queen is who she is, is what made him more interested. I don't know if it had anything to do with his him liking her, is what I'm trying to get to. I don't think it had anything to do with him liking her. But then again, I could be wrong. This is a disaster, and this is what a lot of young girls go through. So... The reason why I wanted to talk about compromising is because when you're trying to make it to heaven, there is no room for compromise. There's no way you can compromise and still go to heaven. Now, I really feel bad for Queen and hopefully she will realize that what she's doing is wrong and that she will correct that. But what I wanted to address is the fact that compromising will keep you away from God. Compromising will keep you from eternal life. Compromising will lead you down a road that you don't want to be on. So Clarence has his family traveling with them, but Queen doesn't. And she doesn't have her friends traveling with her either anymore so what is going on and also queen possibly cares more for him than than he cares for her and his actions are showing that and i really wanted for queen and clarence relationship to work out I really thought at the beginning that this was the right one for her. But I did say anything that looks too good to be true probably is. I did say that to myself because it just looked a little bit too good to be true. And I was right about that. So I didn't really want to be right about that. But a lot of girls get into this situation like a guy can fool you for a long time they know exactly what it is that you want in a man especially if you're as open about things the way queen is so it was easy for him to know what kind of man she was looking for because she would probably voice with all the things that she wanted and he knew how to look like the part he knew how to look like the part. That's what a lot of guys do. They ask you questions. They want to know what it is you're looking for when you first meet them. And then they try to present themselves as being that. Which is all just game. So y'all, thumbs up this video. Like and subscribe. Share with a friend. And God bless.